Hey yo! Welcome back. Tomorrow catches Pokemon. Uh, Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Part 22. Somehow, we're still not dead. <laughs> um, somehow we're still here. Many, many Pokemon have died. But we're still standing. Still telling us about the card key. Like, like we didn't have Pokemon literally die last week. It's like, oh no, but the card key's the most important thing. I don't, I don't know about that game. I don't think that's true. <laughs> this, oh man, I just got skipped. The rival fight was important. Oh, it, <laughs> it clipped, it clipped me renaming the box to heaven. <laughs> that was the most important thing that happened last night was me renaming the box. Oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, so, uh, how are we looking? How are we looking? Okay, let's put let's put Blue Mama up front. We still got a team. They still exist. Um, it, everything's fine. Okay, so Shiny Matt's still wearing his black glasses. Um, what the fuck is Yawn Bean going? Okay. Oh, Yawn Bean has a chest of berry. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll keep that. That's fine. Um, what's what's Bad X Ash going? Bunny, maybe. Received the Oran Barry. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. Oh, neat. Uh, yeah, so we still got a, a real nice team. Um, we got Blue Mama up front uh, with her naughty nature, a shell armor. Um, uh, you know, she has trouble coming out of a shell sometimes. Uh, uh, body Slam and Ice Beam to destroy the enemies and perish songs to kill ourselves. Uh, we got Shiny Matt. Apparently, he can't fly, so he's a big land water snake. Mm hmm. Big swimming water snake, but he's, he's calm about it, whatever he is. He intimidates other people because aforementioned snake. Um, he dragon rages for four point damage, uh, chomps on people, and uh, throws out the water pulse to confuse them. Um, then we got Yawn Bean, the, the smallest, thickest bean that ever existed. Um, he's got a load of physical attack moves and the ability to fall asleep on command, which I have to say I envy. Um, he has thick fat because he's a thick boy for heat and cold protection. And uh, he's got a jolly nature because he's not going to die. He's going to live forever. We got Rachem. Uh, Rachem with their bashful nature. Uh, their chlorophyll that we'll eventually learn sun Sunny Day for. Uh, and I uh, like how we learned we got Rain Dance the TM, but we didn't get Sunny Day. Um, and they've got uh, a good, good move set that I'm never going to change. <laughs> We got Otto, um, our psychic ghosty boy um, who uses his special attack and his ability to not die because he's a ghost and levitate against ground attacks and his serious nature to destroy the opposition. Uh, and we got Ash because, sorry Ash, you're, you're very brave, you're level 10 and you're here to, do, you're here to use cut. That's, that's what you're here for. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, we got a couple more trainers on this route and then we can go back to Lavender Town. So, hello. I raise Pokemon for protection because I live alone. Wow, that's that's kind of that's a little dark. I won't lie. Uh, to start off, um, teensy bit dark. <laughs> um, all right, Be Beauty Olivia, let's uh, see what Pokemon you're raising for self-protection. A Bulbasaur. Um, uh, well, I mean, it's not the worst Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna ice beam it before it can kill us, though. Hopefully, that will kill it in a single hit. Oh, I did a critical hit. Blue Mama, beautiful, lovely. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, he's Ivysaur, sure. Um, we're not gonna change. We're just gonna ice beam them again. Just tell them to chill out. Take a chill pill. Relax. Terrible cold jokes. Oh, that wasn't a critical hit, but that did kill them. So you know, whatever gets gets the job done, really. So we're aiming for level 35 with our Pokemon. Pokemon isn't about winning. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, uh, I love having my Pokemon greet me when I get home. It's so reassuring. Uh, I mean, they're dead now. So how do you feel about that? Uh, <laughs> oh, three trainers. Okay, there are a few more trainers. Uh, I just got some Pokemon trades, can I try them out on you? Sure. We can murder them for you. You, you just traded for them, and now they're gonna die. That's just how it be. Just how it be. I am afraid. Move this window over here. And don't need to worry about it. Um, yeah. 
streams. Uh, professional streamer. Or always has his windows set up right before the stream. Uh, alright, Kendra. Uh, Gloom. Oh, I'm gonna ice beam that too. Ice beam, such a versatile move against all these grass types. Love it. it does mean I have to think of more cold puns. Um, go back. Uh, uh, take it. Take a rest in the cooler. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> uh, Olish. Now nah, we don't need to change. We're just gonna ice beam them too. All these grass types. Uh, ice beam. Very, very easy start. <laughs> ice beam, ice beam, ice beam, ice beam. We all scream for ice beam. Oh, good job, Blue Mama. Another oddish. All this free XP. <laughs> it's free real estate. I wish it was free real estate. Instead, it is free Pokemon XP, which is considerably less valuable than real estate, but it might mean that we don't die to Giovanni, so hey, that's a good thing. Okay, not good enough. Hey, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, you can't change the nickname of any Pokemon you get in a trade. Only the original trainer can get the name trained. Yes. No, I know that. I do know that. Hey, yeah, we can carry on. Uh, hey, dude. Hmm, my birds are shivering. You're good, aren't you? Yes. I'm very good. Best. <laughs> Is what I would like to say. <laughs> hey, Chester. Uh, you can throw out the Drio. Oh my god, we're gonna Ice Beam it! <laughs> Are we just gonna kill every Pokemon with Ice Beam today? No, because we're gonna run out of PP for Ice Beam at some point. Also, Fury Attack. Ow! Okay, two, two hits, that's fine. Um, Ice Beam! Nice. Six Pokemon in the team. Is that the same Mara by now? Well, I mean, <laughs> I won't lie to you, Rivi. One of them is level 10, and the only reason that they're in the team is because they know Cut. <laughs> we did have six Pokemon in the team last night for a period of time. Um, but uh, I, I don't remember much about last night, but I think, I think some Pokemon may have died near me repeatedly. Very, very speedily. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, could, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, yeah, it is the same Ruby. It's the same Marav you know, and it's the same Ruby I know. Hey, Ruby, how you doing? Oh, we got level. Nice. Level, level. Wait, wait, hang on. Hang on, I gotta do the funny thing. There we go. <laughs> I love that bell way too much. Um, but yeah, how, how you doing, my man? Do uh, duo. Okay, okay. We, you know what we're gonna do? Say it with me, folks. Fuck! Say the line! Ice Beam! Doing okay. Good. That's here. There. Are you enjoying me Ice Beaming everything? That's the seventh Pokemon I've Ice Beamed since the beginning of the stream, 13 minutes ago. There has not been a Pokemon I have not used Ice Beam on, and this new Pokemon will be no exception. Apparently all of these Pokemon die to Ice Beam. Amazing. I'm gonna run out of Ice Beam. I had a tie, yeah. I, I, I seem to remember putting it on my head for some reason. Not entirely sure why. Maybe I wanted to be the bad guy from Karai Kid. I don't know. <laughs> Ice Beam is such a great move. I mean, it's working so far. Like It's, it's like a, a thingy from Rick and Morty. I just kept crawling and it kept working. I just kept Ice Beam and it kept working. It's like, so I started ice beaming. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> uh, just as I thought, yes. Very strong. Uh, this is so obvious, you should know this, but moves like Earthquake and Fisher have no effect on bird Pokemon. Hey, um, you're not wrong. He's not wrong, lads. Hey, we only got two ice beams left. Can we complete this fight in two ice beams? That's the question. When I whistle, I can summon bird Pokemon. Oh, yeah. ah, cool. I, I saw it on it was on YouTube for a period of time, right? Also, there's four Pokemon, so we, we ain't finishing this with Ice Beam. <laughs> we'll get two and then we'll switch out. Uh, Ice Beam! That's okay, we got Yawn Bean, it, Yawn Bean in the wings. Uh, I'm trying to call him Yawn Bean. Yeah, is it any good? Is, uh, is, is, uh, is it called Cobra Kai or something? Uh, Farfetch'd. Oh, we don't need to change for Farfetch'd. Slap an Ice Beam on that. 
on that bad boy. At once with an ice beam. <laughs> I do. I do. I've used all 10 of them. Each one a kill shot. 10 out of 10 kill shots. Amazing. Blue Mama's such a fucking sniper. Um. Uh, no, we're gonna keep going. Uh, we're gonna keep going with Blue Mama because I think we're gonna get level, get another level with her very soon. And then we'll switch. Uh, because we can just body slam. Body slam. Crush this double-headed chicken. Ostrich. Whatever it is. What's do duo? Is he an ostrich? Kind of looks like an ostrich. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll, I'll give it a look. I'll give it a look. I'll let you know. <laughs> is this good? Uh, come back to Ruby later. It's not. It's not good at all. <laughs> nah, I'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be good. Sounds like a good concept. Uh, Alright, uh, yeah, just, uh, that wasn't much XP for that Pidgey, but, you know, that's okay. That's okay. A Blue Mama is a killer. I mean, she was getting Satan experience points at one point. I'm just saying. Even when I cut out battles, uh, I'm not the right type, I guess. Like, I, I don't know, uh, uh, I, I certainly, uh, Magna Mama, would you describe yourself as a killer? Uh, it appears that, uh, your namesake is, um, I'm sure. <laughs> nah. I. Uh, but yeah. Uh, hold on, just a sec. Alright, cool. Sorry, I had to send a message. <laughs> you have killed zero Pokemon yet. No, you killed loads of Pokemon. You you just killed ten. Twelve, in fact. <laughs> I wanna play with my Pokemon. Oh. Oh my. Uh mom. Uh everybody, is this person coming on to me? I I have bad it's, it's bad. I, I'm very bad at reading the signs of this, um, so... <laughs> Yasmin! Yasmin, you want me to play with your Pokemon, huh? Alright, I can do that. I can do that by body slamming them! <laughs> Uh, nice, nice. Oh, we're gonna get another level, and then we can switch over. Uh, no, no, that's all good. That's all good. All good. Uh, yo, Tangler, get slammed. Welcome to the slam. Come up and jam, and welcome to the slam. Uh, uh oh, guys, guys, it, it didn't die. Why didn't... Why didn't it die? <laughs> oh no! Blue Mammy, you're meant to kill them in a hit! Okay, Binds is bad. Okay, so, so to be clear, Yasmin has asked me to play with her Pokémon and now I am being bound up in ropes and squeezed. Um... Um... He hasn't told me the safe word! <laughs> What a monster, how did this work? I know, right? You'd think, you'd think if you dropped a Lapras on basically anything, it would die. But apparently this Tangler requires it to be dropped on them three times. And a critical hit. Three times. Craziness. Alright, we got another level. So yeah, we'll switch out. Yo, Yombin, get out there. 
Uh, also, I love how we got the body slam team going on. Both Blue Mama and Yawn Bean, do both no body slam. <laughs> Pretty sure Gyarados can learn body slam at some point. I'm just gonna, just gonna slam our bodies together and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> oh no. That Oddish was not much experience points. I'm disappointed. I was way too impatient. Yes, you didn't tell me the safe word and you bound me up. What are you doing? I go train with weaker people. Wow. I mean, I am very strong. Not wrong. Okay, and with that, we have actually cleared this route of trainers. We're we're doing all right on the uh, grinding, grinding side. Uh, we could do with a little bit more, so we're gonna nip over to Cycling Road, um, and heal as well, um, and maybe maybe catch another Pokemon. Um, but uh, and we're doing all right. We're we're getting very close to being ready to fight Giovanni. Fuck his shit up. I bet they're wrestling their free time as well just for fun, probably. All we'll do with a little bit more grinding. I mean, it's true. It's true. These Pokemon could do with a little bit more grinding. That's what you meant, right? I I need to level them up a bit more, right? Right? <laughs> oh, Narrator voice, but that was not what she meant. <laughs> sure, right. Sure, sure. Great. I'm, I'm glad we agree. Um, I zip. Zip, zippity doo dah, zippity day, all day long, have a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine, head my way. Zippity doo dah, zippity day. Heal my Pokemon. <laughs> Rub my balls. There we go. Uh, Nurse Jenny suffering from a bad case of Ligma balls. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> cool. Alright, we healed the team. Uh, Oh, thanks, Magnum. I appreciate you. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, where we at? We going this way. Because... We want to go to Cycling Road. Which is all the way over to the west of Celadon. We might even catch another Snorlax. And we need to stock up on healing. Oh, it's all coming together. The plan's all coming together. Just like the people slamming their bodies against each other. I mean, what? <laughs> no, nah, but we gotta go to Celadon to pick up a load, of, a load more lemonade. Uh, not back down the stairs, though. I set, I'm setting all the stairs up, so I, I think I'm going one way, and it goes the other way, and I go back down the stairs. God damn it, Pokemon. Pokemon level design. Go Stairs. Rawr. Um, but yeah, we, we need to buy a load of lemonade, um, because our Pokemon are addicted to sugar. Um, and sugar is good. Nice. Happy. Um, alright. <laughs> Stream elements out there with the pog. <laughs> alright, count with me, folks. Wait, no, no, don't count with me, because I need to know how much I've got. Um, okay, I have three lemonades. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to sell some stuff as well, because I've got a load of stuff I should sell. Uh, I have three lemonades, and how much money do I have? I have 84,000 Poke Dollars. Wow! Silphco gives you so much money! <laughs> oh, is there a Pokemon Dentist? Um, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if dentistry has been involved in these children's games. I can't think of one. So probably not. I guess Prof Oak does it on the side, you know, he's already dodgy enough. Um, but yeah, we got we got three and we've got a bajillion dollars, so I'm just gonna buy a load. Um, I don't- I'm not even gonna count. <laughs> I'm just gonna- just gonna keep buying. Oh, no, 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 not fresh water. Ah! Okay, I've gotta not click too fast, because otherwise I buy fresh water, and fresh water isn't as good a deal. I mean, it's still better than super potions, but... I'll buy to oh fuck I did it again. I'll buy to eighty thousand uh, and see see where we're at with how many lemonades we'll have at that point. Probably do the math, but it's the weekend. And I don't have to do math on the weekend. That's the rules, guys. Uh, if you if someone tries to get you to do math on the weekend, you tell them. You tell them from me. 
but it's the weekend. You don't have to do math. Alright, I think I'll have about 10 now. I need more. Oh, I've got 50. I can't count. Um, Alright, more. Fight out to 75,000. Oh my god. My Pokemon are going to have no teeth. Literally no teeth. Half of them, are, my kid's probably embraces anyway. He's like 12. Uh, like, just, just no teeth. Just have no teeth. Got another fresh water. And I really want to drink some water, apparently. <laughs> Brofog is super shady. The most shady. I mean, he's a big oak tree, you know? Provides a lot of shade. Um, never, never do math on stream. I mean, that's a rule, too. Never do math on stream. Never do math on... Just don't do math. Just don't. What? Math. Not even once. Uh, right, everybody in the stream, everyone in the stream, uh, united in your desire to not do math because it's boring and for nerds? Great, great. I'm, gl I'm glad we all agree. <laughs> uh, we're here to slay Pokemon. Take names and kick ass. Buy fresh water. Math is the language of science and you know it's amazing and useful. Oh, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. That don't sound right at all. <laughs> Definitely not on the weekend. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Um, so, we need to sell some shit. We got a load of lemonade now. Hey, dude. Sell. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um, what do we need to sell? We need to sell these nuggets. We found we found these nuggets and all the ass. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they're, they're going to sell for 10,000 Poké Dollars. Wow. And just like that, we're almost back to what money we had. Amazing. Uh, not going to sell the Elixir. We need that. Uh, sell the X Accuracy. Sell the X Speed. Nice. Sell the Max Revive because it's useless to us. Because we are on a Nuzlocke run. I don't want to sell the Full Heal. Do you want to sell the X Special? Okay, I'm not going to sell the water. Alright, we should use some of these, um... Oh man, I should use some of these... Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna use... I'm going to use these stat-up of items in a second. Um... Just because, uh, not using them is useless. Um, that's the other thing. Uh, do we want to buy some TMs? Uh, maybe. Do I buy TMs here? I can't remember which floor I buy TMs on. Fifth floor drugstore, okay. Fourth floor, still can't run in here. Express yourself with gifts. Why is my gifts? And element stones, okay, no. TV game shop, no. I think this is the floor? Okay, top grade items for trainers. Okay, cool. Hey, dude. Hi. Ah, oh, yeah, this, this is the TM floor. Okay, we don't need raw. I might buy Hyper Beam. We have so much money that it, I can actually buy it. I think Gyarados can learn it. Uh, dig, we could, yeah, I might buy dig as well. Um, brick break, secret power track. I, I think I'm gonna buy one of these each. We have so much money. Like, there's no no real reason not to. You can just upgrade some of our movesets a little bit for Giovanni. All right, cool. Cool, brick break will be useful against Giovanni as well because it's a fighting type move, okay. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. Nice, 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 nice. Um, okay, we don't need Focus Punch. Don't need Bulk Up. Hyper Beam. Who can learn Hyper Beam? Oh, wow, loads of people can learn Hyper Beam. Amazing. Yawn Bean can learn Hyper Beam? Wow. Uh... <laughs> Magnum Mama picking up on the most important part of what I was saying. <laughs> Your, your job might be a bit, a bit difficult if you can't do math. Uh, just don't think about it, man. It's fine. Um, I mean, you're right. You're right. But think th if you think of it that way, of course. It, alternatively, think of it like this. If you couldn't do math, you wouldn't have to do so much of your job. So your job would be a lot easier. Huh? Huh? That's, that's big brain thinking, right? Big brain thinking. Um, wow, okay. Well, we can teach Hyperbeam to a lot of people. So... Um, I think I'm going to teach it to Shiny Matt, though. I might teach it to Yawn Bean as well. Let me let me have a look at their respective movesets. See, see who learns what. 
But Shiny Matt having a good normal type move is, is going to be very going to make him a lot, a lot, a lot more useful. Um. Okay. Learn set. Generation three for Snorlax. Okay. Okay. Snorlax will eventually learn Hyper Beam anyway. So we're not going to teach. We're not going to teach Snorlax uh, Hyper Beam. Um. What about Gyarados? Oh, Gyarados did as well. Like that was why it was a meme in the. Uh, um, Macho Men, match yeah, yeah, uh, Gyarados will as well. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe the Pokemon that can learn Hyper Beam are also the Pokemon who can learn it from the TM. That that would make some sense. Um, Blue Mama, can can uh, I tried to t I tried to type Blue Mama like again. I'm, I'm assuming Google knows my Pokemon. Google, Google's basically watching me all the time anyway, right? That's that's the problem. Um, Lapras, by leveling up Gen three. Okay, so Lapras never learns Hyper Beam. Okay, well, maybe we teach it to Blue Mama then. Um, and uh, Vile Plume definitely doesn't, but I don't want to teach it Vile Plume. <laughs> Vi we got Vi we got Rachin's moveset perfect. They're the perfect Pokemon, and they will never die. You're a math teacher, though. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Well, you just think of how little teaching you'd have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here like no one needs to do math and <laughs> Ruby's like but uh but I like I like math <laughs> I do it for a living <laughs> this <is> sorry Ruby <laughs> um I'm, your job is cool my friend and math is actually really cool and awesome it's just, I'm not very good at it. You need to teach me some math, so I can be better at it. That's that's clearly, clearly... Honestly, um, uh, if I had... Uh, I, I was thinking about this relatively recently. Um, maths is uh, genuinely one of the things that um, I, I studied in... Uh, sorry, we're gonna, t we're gonna teach Blue Mama Hyper Beam, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> um, uh, maths is genuinely one of the things I wish I'd studied a lot harder. Uh, at school, I, I ended up went to, going into the humanities instead um, because I enjoyed them more and I was better at them. But um, if I went back to school, uh, maths is something that I would I would want to study. Even if I did psychology or something, I'd want to take some extra credits um, uh, in maths, at least up to a certain level, just to sort of get my head back in the game uh, with regards to it because I've forgotten so much of it. Uh, hey, Excel. Oh, no. <laughs> math. Math is great. <laughs> Got a bunch of nerds in chat. <laughs> That's okay. It's a safe space. It's a safe space for adulting, for hand-holding, and for nerds. Be nerds in chat. A load of free tees. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to do it for free. <laughs> Even enjoy doing warp factor equations. Well, well then. Uh, is that... Uh, I mean, is that real maths? Like, is Trek math real? Are our eyes real? If our eyes aren't real, is Trek math real? Uh, yeah, I want to delete a move. Uh, we will delete Mist. Or Hyper Beam. And you know what? I might even just buy another Hyper Beam and teach it to Gyarados anyway. <laughs> um... Uh, maybe. Maybe not. I might teach him Rain Dance instead, actually. Does Gyarados learn rain? Does rain? Does Gyarados learn rain dance at any point? Yes, he learns it at 45. Okay, well, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Lapras also learns rain dance. Who doesn't learn rain dance? It'll be good to have rain going if we've got multiple water types. Oh, to me. Uh, Yawn Beam again. Oh my God, the move set on Yawn Beam. Can learn rain dance. Why? <laughs> Otto can learn? Meowth can learn Rain Dance. Why can so many Pokemon learn Rain Dance? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna leave that because I don't even know who I'm going to give that to. Uh, who can learn Dig? Meowth. All right, well, maybe our sixth Pokemon can learn Dig. Can anyone learn Brick Break? Ah, Yormbean can learn Brick Break. Ah, well, yes, yes, we're going to teach Yormbean Brick Break. He's got high attack. And we can delete headbutt. Uh, yes. 
Yes, good, 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 goodbye, goodbye, Jojo. 7100, 7500, it's just better. I mean, Body Slam will have Stab, but that's okay. Goodbye, Jojo. There are relativistic equations which could be hand waved as warp factor equations. Oh, cool. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. I mean, uh, I, sta I stand corrected. I see this map. I stand corrected. But it's the weekend, guys. You don't have to do math on the weekend. I'm more confused that Rachel can't learn Rage that. Right! Right? <laughs> it's like the one Pokemon that it would make more sense to be able to learn. <laughs> but it can't. But you can learn Sunny Day, though. Um, that makes sense. Uh, you, uh, plant, plants learning learning the ability to get more sun so that they can photosynthesize better. No, that, that makes some sense. Can anyone learn Aerial Ace? What? Why can Meowth learn Aerial Ace? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Meowth never becomes a flying Pokemon. That's that's even worse than Chomili. Ah, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck, Pokemon? What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, okay. We could teach someone reflect. We could teach Otto reflect and light screen. That might not be a bad idea. Because uh, they they affect everybody else as well. Uh, maybe, maybe. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it for now. Leave it for now. Probably regret it later. Oh, that's the other thing I need. I need to buy uh, balls. <laughs> uh, I need to buy some new balls, guys. Um, not great balls. Um, I need to buy some Ultra Balls. So I'm gonna see if Saffron... Maybe Saffron has Ultra Balls? My great balls aren't great enough, you know. People have been, people have been complaining. Um, so, uh, I gotta, gotta buy some Ultra Balls. <laughs> XL coming in. No, XL, I'm not doing math on the weekend. I'm not doing it. You don't, you put all the math you like in my chat. I'm not doing any math. <laughs> Oh, okay. Can we... Oh, wait, no. Ah, uh, we can't... We can't buy any... Can we go to the Mart? Is the Mart available? Or is it blocked off? Silfco. Uh, can't go in there because of Team Rocket. Can't go in there because of Team Rocket. Is there... Is there not actually a Mart? Oh, there, there it is. Just, I'm just lost. <laughs> oh, terrible. Uh, max repel, cool. I might, I might want to get some max repels actually. Uh, revive is useless because it's Nuzlocke. Why can't you run in shops? The game is forcing. I can only buy great balls here anyway. Oh, for God's sake! All right. I mean, we get into the point where hyper potions are going to be more worth investing in the lemonades, but not, not yet, not yet. We're okay for that. We're okay with lemonades at the moment. Um, I don't need to sell anything else. Um. All right, Cycling Road. Guess we'll have to, we'll just have to use Great Balls for now. Uh, ah, yeah, that, that does that does sound like a cool feature, my friend. Um, yeah. Something that could be easily ported across. All right, Cycling Road. Haven't caught any Pokemon on this road. Um, we're gonna catch a, uh, do we wanna catch another Snorlax? Ooh. Oh, this is Route 16. Okay, we can catch another Snorlax on Route 16, and then we can catch um, something else on Cycling Road. Because they're separate routes. Big brain thinking. Yes. Yeah, it's very strong. <laughs> very large brain. Uh, okay, just gonna update my notes. Um, route 14. What did we catch on Route 14? Catch anything? We did, right? Uh, what did we catch last night? Fuck. Tribble, Jupiter, we didn't catch anything on Route 15. Did we not catch anything? I'll have to go back. Uh, if someone remembers, do tell me, but otherwise I'm gonna have to go back and, uh, alcohol has robbed me of my memory. Um, yeah, it does sound like the light dark side points. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was thinking that too. Um, okay, we're gonna use cut here. Flash. Oh, we could catch something in the wild grass. Oh, okay, what what can you actually catch on Route 16? Because maybe we don't catch the Snorlax. 
We already have one Snorlax. Route 16. Pokemon. Anto Route 16. Um, Generation 3. Uh, oh, okay. So 35% Doduo, 30% Spearow. I mean, both of those are good picks. Then, uh, Cycling Road. I'm guessing Cycling Road has higher level versions of those Pokemon. Um, Cycling Road. Pokemon, Gen... Nope, Gen 3. Um, Rattata, Raticate, Spearow, Fearow, Doduo. Okay, so, so, the, so uh, we're just going to get... Uh, the reason I'm the reason I'm considering this, guys, is because uh, Nuzlocke rules mean that I have to try and catch the first Pokemon I encounter. So theoretically speaking, I can either choose to go into the grass and try and encounter something from Route 16's catch table, or I can fight Snorlax and try and catch Snorlax. Having two Snorlaxes might not be a bad idea. They are a very strong Pokemon. What what do we think? Um, that's how I play Pokemon. <laughs> Only the most wholesome content. Uh, Nah, it's not that bad. I, I didn't black out or anything. I just can't remember. Uh, can you ever have enough Snorlax? I mean, I don't know. It, it's a very good Pokemon. Having having a backup might be a good idea, and we will have we will have the chance to catch, um, to catch the same Pokemon in Route 16 on Route 17. The only downside is if we uh, get a Rattata or a Raticate from. Uh, from Route 17, got a 30% chance of getting one, whereas preferably we want a Doduo or a Spearow or a Fearow, because we need a flying type. But they are higher level. Oh, fuck it, balls it. I think I, I need a flying type, so I want two chances to get a flying type, so I am going to kill this Snorlax. Live on television. Yeah. What, what are you going to do about that, huh? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see what we catch. There's gonna be a Rattata now. Spearow. Okay. Okay. Level 20. I like Spearow. Spearow, Fearow, better. Uh, we gotta. Now we've gotta not kill it. <laughs> That's the other problem. Um. Uh. I think we paralyze it and dragon rage it and hope that that's enough. So, thunder wave. I didn't black out, I just can't remember. <laughs> no, I just, I just, there's just holes in my memory. It's fine. It was yesterday. You know, who remembers what they did yesterday? <laughs> Watch Dragon Rage kill it now. Ooh, that was close. That was too close. Um, okay. But we're gonna have a Pokemon. I'm trying to use TMs on it for some reason. But we'll, we'll, we can have a Pokemon that can fly now. So that's good. We don't have to use fodder. <laughs> Our level 10 Pidgey. Hey, Spiro might be able to learn Cup. I don't think they can though. I think I don't think they were in the list. Um, cool. So we've got uh, it. Bisley uh, flits around here and there. Even if it's frail, it can be a tough uh, foe that uses mirror move. Oh yeah, mirror moves its thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mirror move and um, try attack. Okay. Well, what are we calling the Spearow? Who doesn't? Who doesn't have a Pokemon yet? Um, uh, Excel, do you have a Pokemon? I, I know Rivi and Mama do. And anyone else in chat, you want a Pokemon? Uh, if you subbed or whatever, uh, check a name out. Um... <laughs> I think you killed it. I, no, I, I mean, I don't. I didn't kill any of your Pokemon. They just died nearby <laughs> in tragic accidents. Well, okay, if they're dead, then then what, what do you want to call Spearow? Uh, XL. Dot, dot, dot. No, if we call them dot, 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 I have to drink every time I use them. <laughs> uh, unless you meant that at the killing, in which case I, I have nothing to say to you. People, Pokemon just keep on dying nearby, you know? Like, it's a curse. It's a real curse. 
Um, yeah, I'm putting you on spot, sorry. Forsyth, sure. Oh, that's quite, I quite like that one. Yeah. A very stately name for a Pokemon. Oh, Forsyth the Spearow. Probably gonna die. They're, they're a bit underleveled. Um, so, uh, they might, they might end up, we might end up catching a higher level flying type in the next cycling road. So I might end up putting them in the box, but, but nevertheless, uh, okay, they've gone to heaven. They've gone to heaven. That's okay. All right, we, okay, we've caught something on Route 16. Let me just write this down so I don't forget. <laughs> uh, four size, zero. You could put question mark, question mark, question mark on Route 14. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go pick them up. Actually, do we need cut? Oh, we might need cut. Hold on. Hold up. Okay, we need cut for this bit because we need to. Um, uh, oh, but I want to. Hmm. Oh, actually, maybe we put Otto in the box for the moment. We'll need Otto for Cycling Road because we'll need him for all of the uh, coughings that's that the bikers. The bikers all have Volt Orbs and coughing, so we need we need them for that. But um, we'll just put him in the box at the moment, just for this little bit. And Snorlax and uh, these trainers outside on Route 16. So uh, deposit Otto and withdraw. Oh, that's the door. Did someone get that? Thanks. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, hey, Kizrap, how you doing? Um, Forsyth. Forsyth the Spearer. Alright, Otto, you can stay in heaven. You ain't got anybody in hell yet. Again. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at our good, good boy. Girl, in this case. Hello. Uh, you have an adamant nature. XL, um, Keen Eye, uh, nice, no. Uh, Fury Attack and Pursuit, uh, not too bad, not too bad, could be worse. I think you've traded out Peck for some fucking reason. Uh, let's have a look at Spearow's moveset and when it evolves. Uh, Spearow evolves at level 20? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spearow didn't evolve apparently. <laughs> Um, but it will evolve as soon as we get at a level, uh, theoretically speaking. <laughs> uh, but eventually learns Aerial Ace, Mirror Move, uh, Drill Peck, and Agility. Um, and then Firo. Uh, Firo learns the same moves just later on. Okay, well, uh, but it, it uh, oh, wait, hang on. Uh... Actually, yeah, yeah, only very, only a very little bit later on though, um, like one level, one level higher. That's okay. Yeah, it did trade out Peck for some reason. <laughs> um, uh, oh no, actually no, we want to level. Okay, interesting. We want to level Spiro to level twenty-five because Spiro learns Aerial Ace at level twenty-five in Gen three, but Firo never learns Aerial Ace. So actually, we're gonna let. Spiro not evolve for a couple of levels. That, that's a good thing I checked the move sets. Okay, that's that's good to know. That's good to know. Uh, someone in the door. Yeah, I I think uh I got, I've got a, a Lavalier mic um coming um that uh, I'm gonna be using for um uh, uh recording videos outside, like a clip on mic. Um, and it's probably that and some super glue. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's see you again. Got a Warhammer at home. Um, I, 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 my, uh, one of my housemates owns some Warhammer. I do not have a Warhammer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't know why I'm apologizing for that. Over. Okay, looks like I can cut down. Yes. Um, uh, alright. Hello. Double battle, I think. Sometimes the intensity of our love scares me. Wow. Amazing. 
Bayer and Jed. Rapidash and Ninetales. Ooh, okay. Powerful Pokemon. Probably gonna swap Forsyth out immediately. Because uh, Forsyth is gonna die. So, uh, Forsyth, uh, get out of there. Shiny Mac, get in the fray. And Yawn Beam, on the other hand, can use Rock Tomb on Rapidash. <laughs> oh, we're, we usually, particularly at the moment because of everything going on, we're, we're not getting a lot of the scammers. Uh, I hope you're not getting a lot of scammers nowadays. Um, not a good time to, for scammers to be knocking on your door. Stomp. Ow. Ow, they kicked me. Okay, covered by a veil, fine. Well, I'm not going to inflict conditions on you anyway. A okay, rock tomb, super effective, fantastic. Um, okay, so you go ahead, go ahead and water pulse, and you can go ahead and rock to. Could be, could kill them both in a single hit, theoretically. Oh, there we go. Effective. Confuse Ray. Fuck. Oh, that's annoying. Alright. Uh, Yawn Bean is confused. Down. No, stop hurting yourself. Oh. Well, kill Ninetales and see if we can break through the confusion. Ow, quick attack. Okay, they're not really hurting us, they're just annoying. There we go, okay. Ninetales is down. A very pretty Pokemon. Hello! Hi, hi back, I'm Dad. <laughs> Oh, uh, dad jokes never getting on board. Uh, fire, spin, fire spin misses. Yawn Bean, break out of confusion. No! <laughs> Yawn Bean's just punching himself repeatedly. It's so sad. Okay, Shiny Mat's here to finish him off. Okay. Effective. Nice, nice, nice. Foresight to get 9 XP. Jed looks cool even in the loss. Aww, that's adorable. Uh, eh, I'm so sorry. Jed is so cool. Uh, listen, Leia, you need to focus less on me. Wow. Wow. Just tell her what to do, why don't you? Hey, dude. How'd you get in? Good effort. I mean, I just used cut. <laughs> just used cut, man. Uh, okay, just random house. I think this is where you get fly normally. Uh, yeah. Hello. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Received HMO2. Hooray. Uh, HMO2 is fly. It's a wonderful, convenient move. Please put it to good use. We will teach it to Forsyth. Give Forsyth a cool move. Uh, hi. And now, now travel becomes so much easier. As long as Fourth Scythe is alive, we can uh, actually go places really quickly because we can fly to anywhere we've been. Why did you name me this way? <laughs> are, are difficulties slightly higher in Pathfinder 2 because of more addiction? Uh, more addition. Um, yes, yeah. Difficulty classes are definitely higher. Yeah. Um, they ha they've done them better in general. Like uh, the the math. Uh, in Pathfinder 2 is a lot more solid um, than it was in Pathfinder 1, in my opinion. Okay, well now we don't need cut for Cycling Road, I don't think. We don't need to get back behind here, so let's go fly back to... Let's use fly, first time, to fly back to Celadon. Whee! We're somehow clinging to this tiny bird. <laughs> It'll make more sense when they're Fero, because Fero is a massive, but... Uh, okay, cool, cool. Um, fly's so useful. Fly, fly is a HM I don't mind moving, along with Surf. Both of them are good moves, and they're useful. Um, so we're going to go ahead and deposit Bad X Ash for the moment, because we don't need them. And we're going to withdraw... Otto, so we have something to deal with uh, coughings. 
and we're gonna go ahead and go do a little bit more training. Just a bit. I'm not expecting to train um, Forsyth up fully for Giovanni. We just need a bit more training. I'd like to get them to Firo, because then they'll be a lot more survivable. Um, but otherwise, ev everyone else is everyone else is okay. Oh, actually, I need to... Hang on. I just need to heal. So we're going to kill this Snorlax, because the rules of Nuzlocke dictate that it must die. Um, or run away. Um... <laughs> Pokemon faints. No! <laughs> if they faint, they die! <laughs> but yes, yes. It, uh, obviously, uh, the way to the way to learn Pokemon moves is to stick stick CDs, uh, CD discs, CD-ROMs um, to Pokemon foreheads. Uh, that's just how, how the magic happens, you know? When they say technical machine, what they mean is the power of the CD-ROM. They're Blu-rays, you know? Uh, Blu-ray Blu TMs. <laughs> Uh, okay. Sorry, Snorlax. Yep. Use the poker flute. Back to the nurse, yeah. Before Blu ray was DVD. It's true. It's true. And Laserdisc. Yes. Laserdisc is such a cool name. Like, it's, it's less. It's more disappointing in practice, but it's a very cool name. Alright. Uh, Wild Snorlax, okay. I'll put Forsyth in and then immediately switch them out. Uh, for, I mean, actually, Yawn Beam. We're gonna Snorlax versus Snorlax this. Because our Snorlax is better than their Snorlax. Has better moves. Ah, <laughs> they use rest immediately. Um, okay, Brick Rake. Wham, wham, wham! Oh, a lot of damage. We're gonna use rest. Oh, no, they use headbutt. Okay, Are we get a flinch. Oh, cool. Wow, that was the quickest Snorlax fight I've ever had. Now they're dead. <laughs> Why is he just laying there? I mean, it, it, it is it is a Snorlax. Um, he's, he's, just, he's just a very tired... He's a very tired boy, and also his legs and arms are too short and he can't get up. <laughs> his body is too big, and his legs are too small. Oh, he's adorable. Uh, Snorlax calmed down. It gave a huge yawn and returned to the mountain. Oh, that's one of the few canonical Pokemon that survive instead of fainting. They don't, they don't die. Sn that Snorlax lived. We let them live because they were too adorable. Uh, okay. Ooh, yeah, that's, uh... Snorlax is your spirit animal. <laughs> right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a downhill course by the sea. It's a great ride. Okay, do we have enough Pokemon for... Is there an aid here? There is. I remember me. I'm one of Prof Oak's aides. Uh, have four species, blah, blah, blah. You trusted me with an amulet coin. Okay. Yes, totally. Let's see. Uh-oh, you have got only 28 kinds of Pokemon. Well, fuck. <laughs> Guess we're not getting that. Uh, going riding together on our new bike. So maybe we have enough for the XP share now, actually. We've got 28. I'm on a relaxing ride ride with my new bike with my new girlfriend. Oh, that's, that's adorable. That's really quite sweet. Now you get up. <laughs> Now, yeah, yeah, apparently. Um, all right, cool. Hey, dude. What do you want? What are you buying? Uh, well, what I'm buying is your death. Bye. Okay, Grimer. All right. Oh, Forsyth is almost leveled. Lovely. Love it. We love to see it. Uh, you're mean. Get out there. XP share was either 30 or 50. Damn it! <laughs> we're never getting it. <laughs> even if we didn't want, even if we wanted it, we're never getting it. Uh, body slam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Destroyed. Hey, level 21. Nice. Right, we've got to remember to stop him from evolving because we want to learn aerial ace. Okay, get a bit more XP. Offing. Yes, we will change Forsyth and then immediately change to Otto. <laughs> Stranger, what are you buying? Eh. Uh, what are you selling? Uh, Alright, cool. Um, Forsyth, come back. 
stop making re I'll stop making Resident Evil uh, references eventually when I'm dead. Um, sludge. Okay. Yep, sure. Fine, 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 fine. Psychic. Critical hits. Bam. Bam. Got him. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. We're gonna try and evolve, and we gotta press B. Press B to not evolve. Don't you dare laugh. Ha 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 ha! I laugh at you! B. B, 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 can you actually play Resident Evil 4 on here? I'm sure with a little bit of jiggery-pokery and a little bit of the old emulation magic, I probably could stream some Resident Evil, and I might do at some point. Um, certainly, uh, I, I have been looking at the uh, some of the Resident Evil re-releases. Uh, look really good, cool, really good. So I might I might stream some of those at some point. They're, they're legitimately on PC, um, and they look pretty good. Resident Evil 2 and 1, particularly, particularly 2, it's, it's like a cool remake. Oh. Oh man, I kind of want to see if Forsyth can kill Machop, but I don't want to. I don't want them to go the way of Jupiter, so we're not going to do that. We're going to get Sen Shiny Mao instead. <laughs> Bend out the boys. I'm going to try moderately hard to not get not get Pokemon killed. Uh, seismic toss. Ow. Gonna hurt. Oh. It hurts so much because it's dependent on weight, and Gyarados is like a surprisingly heavy Pokemon. Oh, we got confusion though. Nice, nice. Solid. Hurt itself in its confusion. Okay. One more water pulse. Goodbye, Machop. Machop! Okay. 264. 264, fine. I'll use Mankey. Yeah, we will switch back to Forsyth. Slowly grinding those levels. Actually, not that slowly. Uh, and then switch back to Shiny Map. <coughs> Amazing strategies. Uh, yep, intimidate them. Good. It's a super big water snake. How is it surprising this time? No, it's not surprising. It's just it's just painful. Oh my god, all of the seismic tosses. They're tossing us. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is that um, Shiny Matt is a huge tosser. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh no. Come on, Water Pulse. Also, we should heal Shiny Matt in a second. Don't use it again. Oh my god. It does a fixed damage, so it wasn't gonna crit or anything, but I just ow. Ow. Uh, also we get into the point where our HP actually needs hyper potions sometimes. Yeah. So painful. Why'd they do this to us? Water pulse! Is it as painful as calling a cobalt fat? I don't I don't think so. <laughs> I think I think if I if I called you fat kids rap I would probably pay, so <laughs> Besides, I don't know. I don't know. You could be super thin for all I know. Uh, also this is a this is a body positive stream. Um you can be fat, you can be thin, you can be anything in between, and that's okay. You do you. Um Alright, Forsyth, hey. Get out there again. We going on level, maybe. <laughs> Johnny Matt, you can be fluffy. That's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fluffy Cobalt. Nothing wrong with the fluffy Cobalt. Oh, ow, revenge. Why? Why are you? I haven't done anything to you, Machop. Why do you want revenge? Rude. Rudeness.
One more. What are you identifying me for? I'm not a ghost. Out of here. <laughs> wow, Magnum <Ammo. laughs> That's not what we meant. <laughs> Machop wants revenge from Machop. Oh, I see. That makes more sense. Yeah, that, make, that makes some sense. That makes some sense. Get it. Who needs your bike? Me. I need it. I need it. Hey, dude. Come on, play, little mouse. Yo, Luke. All these cue balls. Gonna destroy. Destroy them all at Snooker. Watch them seismic toss me again. <laughs> I hate seismic toss. Uh, all the other fighting moves are terrible against Shiny Map, but Seismic Toss is really good. I've got loads of heavy Pokemon, so I can't I can't do anything about it. Stop focusing your energy, Machop! I'm getting pumped in a public place. Rude. A rude dude. That that's fair, Kizrap. That's fair. People people should be called what they want to be called. In general. Yeah, fitting into small places is helpful. Short kings! Nice. Okay. Alright. Alright. Hey, level 22! Okay, we gotta stop them evolving again. We get to level 25. Alright, my chop. Yes, we will switch. Forsyth, get out there. Oh, Spiro has such a good cry as well. Actually sounds kind of like a bird. Tiny map. Intimidate, Seismic Toss, probably... Foresight, okay. We'll get him. I might even be in your ventilation, but I don't have any ventilation, so how are you in my ventilation? <laughs> uh... I, I live in Britain, remember, we don't have AC. <laughs> Ow. Stop chopping me. A bit. Stop chopping at my water snake. i will vibrate you to death. Yeah. Good about that, huh? Nothing. Okay. Pump up those jams. Pump them up. Pump them up. You little rat? No, I'm not a rat. 69. Nice. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B Pressing B, pressing B, pressing B, pressing B, 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 B. God damn. I had to press the B button a lot to stop them evolving. I hate losing. Get out of my face. Okay, tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll go back to the Pokemon Center and heal and come back. I'll go just have a nice bit of rubber tug um, after vibrating someone to death. And I'll come back. <laughs> Wait, so how do you... Uh, so, we don't live in an oven. Uh, we don't live in a place that's continually on fire. It just rains a lot here. So we... <laughs> really? Every day until you like it. <laughs> oh no. Cool. Um, we healed up. We go back. Carry on destroying these bikers and their lives and their hopes and dreams by killing all of their Pokemon. Just what I feel like today. I feel like destroying their hopes and dreams. Hey, you just bumped me. Yes, I did. I'm here to slay, and for ass, and I'm all out of ass. So. Wheezing? Oh no! Well, we got we got an answer for that. We got a person who's immune, immune to your bullshit wheezing. Otto. So you're not worried about too hot to god. So basically, I live in um, the Goldilocks porridge of countries. Um, it is neither too hot nor too cold. It's just right. Um, it's neither too cold, ne neither too cold in winter nor too hot in summer. It's beautiful. Hashtag visit Britain. <laughs> ah, Britain's pretty good. Um, felt like I needed AC a couple of days in the uh, in the summer, but um, Magnum Ammer in chat uh, sent me a real nice fan uh, a while ago, which is uh, really helpful. Um, and means my computer doesn't explode. So you know, thumbs up. Kaboom! Boom. Uh, we'll always be hanging around here, even if you don't like it. 
You can detour to the Vermilion from Fuchsia going along the coast. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I do like it. I, I'm, I'm murdering all your Pokemon. Very helpful. Thank you. Hey there, let's have ourselves a good time. Have ourselves a good, good time. Yeah, boy. All right. Uh, Black Ruben would like to battle. Turn our wheezing. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, we'll switch again. Let's do the switch again. Oh, no, no, don't fight. <laughs> I almost tried to challenge wheezing uh, with a Forsyth. Forsyth would have died. Uh, how is it on the other side of the world? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Could be, could be a lot worse. Um, yeah. In considering how hard some folks have it, about the, about the only thing climate change is doing to us is it's, is flooding everywhere, which is bad. Um, uh, it's very bad. Don't get me wrong, but it is a sort of intermittent problem rather than a constant problem at the moment, which is good. I'm glad. All right, coughing. I switch, switch back, kill, repeat. <laughs> oh man, I wish they used different Pokemon so I could use different Pokemon against them, but they, they could all explode at any time. Literally live bombs as Pokemon. Canada, UK, or France, yeah, that's fair. They're all very nice places. Canada's too cold though, and France is too hot, so... Just come to the UK. <laughs> Also, the Fr France is full of French people, and there are far too many French people in, Can in Canada as well, so you should just come to the UK. <laughs> hey, level 23, you remember? We need to not let them evolve. Um, Alright, about to use Weezing. Yes, we will. Change back to Forsyth. Oh, we'll get to level 25 in no time. No time! Um, I love how Forsyth is at level 21. Uh, we got this Spiro at level 20, and they've survived longer than the level 29 Pidgeotto that we found. Just fucking Pokemon, guys. <laughs> uh, much worse, Slime Raiders, Bandits, Nulls? Oh no! <laughs> I'd be one mile north of the Scottish border in case of separation. That's a good idea. I'd recommend picking up a dual uh, English Irish citizenship as well, if you can. That way, you can be part of the EU as well as uh, not being part of the EU. Get the best of both worlds, sort of thing. Um, seems like a good idea at the moment, particularly considering the bullshit that we're playing. That is super effective. Uh, we destroyed them. Yes! Get destroyed. Okay, go. press B. Press B. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B Damn it! Each time it seems to get closer to evolving, and I don't want it to evolve. Um, I get my kicks by harassing people with my stinking Pokemon. They're great for startling people, and they bite too. Wow, you're a dick. You're actually a dick. And this guy's like, I'm really proud of how I harass people. Go fuck yourself off a bridge, my friend. Um, uh, that's, that's my stance on those people. Hey yo! I'm feeling hungry and mean. I need a punching bag. I'm also feeling hungry, I won't lie. I think, I think actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Giovanni next time. Uh, or maybe later. I'll see. Um, and I'm gonna do this fight and then, uh, I think I'm good for it. Uh, we'll just do a, str a short one today. We've done a lot of Pokemon. We've done a lot of Pokemon. So. Um... Um, I might be back later. Certainly I'll be back later with War for the Crown. Uh, maybe some Blood Bowl as well. So... Oh yeah. Uh, Shiny Mac, get out there. What's wrong with all of me? So, um, nothing at all, except for the fact that um, Spearow learns Aerial Ace, Ace at level 25. Thero does not learn Aerial Ace. Uh, so we need to let Spearow get to level 25, learn that move, and then we can evolve them. So we still get to... Yeah, War for the Crown should be good. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Alright, confused, nice. 
Uh, War for the Crown is my uh, Pathfinder uh, Warney uh, AP that um, I'm running at the moment with good folks like Magda Mama and Star Sims um, and uh, some other good folks as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we, uh, we're, we're running at uh, 8 p.m. till uh, midnight uh, British time at the moment, so do, do check it out uh, if you enjoy um, Pathfinder and games of uh, intrigue, uh, shape changing, and minute for level buffs. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good summary, right, Magna Mama? <laughs> oh, and everybody being real sake. <laughs> <sighs> nah, it's a good game. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. We're in, we're in um, the middle of Adventure Four uh, of six adventures, um, and they're like super spy agents working for a princess. Very strong. We feisty. <laughs> nah, nah, it's good. It's good. L last week was good. I, en I enjoyed last week. Um, uh, yeah, we'll change. Or side, get back out there. Look, look, looking forward to, looking forward to tonight's session. Alright, uh, switch back, shiny mat, don't size me, toss me, don't toss me salad, don't do it. <laughs> it is, so War for the Crown is Pathfinder 1st edition, um, my Pathfinder 2nd edition game is on Thursdays, and that's Cataclysm, uh, which is also a good game, which you should check, which you should check out. It involves a divine apocalypse, uh, and the, the affairs of Nethys and Asmodeus. And a, a democratic uh, a sort of Athens-like city that is struggle, struggling against the affairs of gods. What are we, if mortals, to do if the gods decide that we should be destroyed? I know, on Thursdays. <laughs> uh, whereas War for the Crown is um, uh, a stagnant empire uh, that needs to decide a new leader. Will they? Will they pick? The moderate social reformer who leads to hope for change um, to come, uh, who the party is supporting, or will they pick um, tradition, conservatism, and the ways of empire, uh, who the party are opposing? Uh, this is the War for the Crown on Saturdays. Uh, typical Thursdays. Yeah, <laughs> cataclysms everywhere. Um, what would you use as story hero or inspiration points or as a dungeon master? I mean, I do uh, on regular occasions in different systems. Um, it depends on the kind of system and the kind of story, honestly. Um, do you mean like physical things? Like if I was, I was playing like a physical game, I've uh, there's a someone who um, sells like um, really cool uh, looking um, uh, like real gold pieces. Uh, the the like model to look like sort of old, old, ye olde coins. I thought they'd be pretty cool to use as like physical hero points, like toss them to people or something. Um, okay, better than dice. Cool. We didn't we didn't level that one. All right, cool. Um, so, uh, thank you everybody for watching. I'm gonna go get some food. Um, I might be back later with some more Pokemon. I might be back later with some more Blood Bowl. Certainly, I will be back later with some more Pathfinder. Um, but for now. Have a good day, a good night, a good evening, a good afternoon, or a good morning wherever you are. Stay safe, and I'll catch you on the future. Bye!